Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Nichols and this is a continuation video. The previous one that I did was I showed you how to run a TLC and now we're continuing on and this one is going to be focused on how to visualize the spots after they've um, after the TLC has run. So in the last video I ran two. Uh, one was colored, it was with food dyes and you can see it on the left. Um, that one's still running actually. Um, but when things are colored, you can easily see where they end up afterwards. It's more common that organic compounds are invisible to the naked eye, and so therefore you have to do something afterwards to see where the spots ended up. For example, here is a TLC that I ran in the last video, and there are molecules there, we just can't see them, so we have to do some sort of visualization technique to see where they ended up. And probably the most common technique is to use ultraviolet light because many organic compounds absorb UV light. You might just have a handheld UV lamp that you'd use. At my college, we have this box which can you know, obscure the light and you can look inside and then use the UV lamp like that. But many, many colleges just have you uh, take the, the lamp and uh, set it off to the side in a darkened room and then you'll, you'll see the effects. Here's what that looks like in a darkened room. If you take the UV lamp and shine the uh, short wave uh, UV on it, you'll get the plate to glow. And the backing of the plate has a, a fluorescent material in it. But if there's a compound that absorbs UV light, it'll prevent that fluorescent material from getting the light and it won't glow. So you'll see a dark spot wherever there is an organic compound that absorbs UV. What you can do is take your pencil and circle those spots because when you take the UV lamp away, the, the, they are going to disappear. UV light is non-destructive, so the compounds haven't been changed after you've tried that method, so pretty much everyone will try that first. But you can then take the plate and then follow it up with another method um, often using some sort of stain that is actually destructive and you can only do this once but um, sometimes you can visualize things better using these other methods. Um, iodine is pretty common. People will put the TLC plate into a iodine chamber and then the spots will eventually show up um, but then there's also a whole slew of different stains that you can use. What I'm going to do is show you how you could use a certain stain and a lot of the techniques are really the same. You just have different uh, chemicals in the stain. The one I'm going to use is a ferric chloride stain and it's very good for visualizing phenols. You'll open up the stain and dip your eluted TLC plate in just briefly. You don't want to soak it in there. And then you wipe off the excess on a paper towel so that you just have a thin layer of stain on top of the plate. And then in order to get the spots to show, often you have to heat it to get you know, a reaction to occur. Sometimes people will use a hot plate, but if you have a heat gun, this is a really easy way in order to get these spots to, to show up. So just wave the front of the plate with the heat gun a um, little bit at a time, and eventually those spots will start showing up. What we end up getting here is um, I had two samples that were actually pure, and um, one of them with the stain is showing a dark gray spot and the other one is showing a yellow spot. And from the stain, I was able to see that, you know, where the, where the molecules ended up after the uh, TLC.